the biggest challenges, as I said, is too much produced for the domestic market. So I think we need to be very export focused in the future to basically survive, I think, as fruit growers. It's just not the Thai market alone that has the opportunity. It's like the ASEAN market now that we are trying to get you to look at a specific market where there are opportunities out of Vietnam to a certain extent, Malaysia, Singapore already. So try to, there's opportunities everywhere. It's just that where you want to first target your, your, your produce to working with your exporter directly with them. The traditional trade in a place like Vietnam or Cambodia or Laos or, or Bangladesh you know, 90% of the trade is still done traditionally where at a wet market or mum and pop stores or very small retailers actually distribute the product. And supermarkets are one of the, one of the ways that this new affluence and people's urbanisation and people's access to food is being realised, where supermarkets are one of the key ways of getting products to the consumers. But now the market has grown significantly where you have retailers in the market. Key sourcing, global sourcing centers are based in Thailand at the moment for Carrefour, for Tesco. People like Tops, they will grow their market to 300 branches in 2011. All this adds to opportunity and it fits very well with Australian produce because you produce, you know your produce is good and I agree our produce is good. But sometimes the price tends to be the, the factor. But now you have um, I say back up, for example, like the free trade that helps you in terms of pricing. Also, these guys are looking for quality produce, not actually at the minimum price. And because retailers are very competitive in Thailand at the moment, if one store has it, the others normally follow. If we don't have a diversification of markets, you leave yourself very exposed. So what appear at the moment to be relatively small markets but are growing may well be markets we should continue to concentrate on you know, and this is the kind of work that needs to be done to identify where these opportunities are and if you see the size of our summer fruit industry compared to our major competitors we, ne we can never compete on volume. Compare us with Chile or China uh, we'll never compete on volume. We've just got to find those markets that are prepared that pay the price that will give you an adequate return but we've got to work it. We've got to work it to get there.